Uh, we saw the big meetings over there. Big flex buildings. In Zanzibar, we call them ground scrapers. Not skyscrapers. <laughs> they are communist buildings. They were built by East Germany. You remember before the union between East and the West, they were separate until around 1990s. So by that time, East Germany came to be based on Zanzibar and West on the mainland. So they did build the buildings over there. Today, they are owned by the government. So to rent them is not expensive. Locals, majorities can afford to live down over there. Before we came to stop at the restaurant, I was speaking about Swahili. We came to know some words like sour, sour, okay? Very good. Do you know Karibu? Karibu. Okay. Asante sana. Asante sana. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Jambo. Jambo, hello. Very good. Akuna matata. No worries. No worries. Very good. So, pole pole. Very good. Yes. Slowly, slowly. And the haraka haraka is quick, quick. Habari. Habari. Yes. Hi. How are you? Okay. Very good. So that's Swahili, the language you speak here. But remember that. We do speak it with different dialects so that we can recognize each other. Where are you coming from? Okay, good. So we are now not in Stone Town, remember? This is the new town. The name Zanzibar is combining two towns the old one and the new one. So now we are out of the old one, driving through the new one. Okay, yeah, the next mind. we move to the villages, okay? Very good. I spoke to you that Zanzibar depends much on tourism industry. Remember then after that we depend on fishing. You're going to enjoy the seafood over there. We depend on farming. And from farming, what we depend on much is producing the spices. We are a spice island. Mm -hmm. Understand? We are a spice island. We used to be producing a lot. By that time, the time when we had Arabs, but, but by now, we do it, but not as much as the way it was before. But today we are with spices like uh, turmeric, okay, vanilla, curry. curry, yes. We are with the nutmeg, coriander, coriander. yes, you can see, cumin, you can see we are with ginger, we are with lemon glass, we are with uh, pepper, yes, you can see. You can see, yes, we are with cinnamon. It is all produced here. And the, you can see, look, it's getting busy around here. It is rush hour now. The government offices are closing, uh, already closed now, that's what you can see. But as we get away from here, we are going to be free. And the road from here to the place is very good. Except a very small portion from the main road to the resorty place. Otherwise, very good. So today, it's a very good opportunity to see more what is around Zanzibar. Because after seeing the buildings, we go to the villages to see bananas, to see coconuts, a lot of it around here. We go to see big mango trees. And for the fruits, it is pineapple season. Mm. Expect to sell a lot of pineapples on the way as we drive from from here. On the way we see the ladies are hair covered. Yes. As I spoke to you, majorities are Muslims, mm -hmm. but even the Christians can do so. Mm -hmm. If you see somebody not covered, she is a Christian. We are free that if you are not a Muslim, go without covering your head. Understand? You are a Muslim, it is compulsory for ladies to go cover their heads. Sorry? Uh, yes, what, what we have it is 
very much based on yeah. Arab influence, one, yeah, one Arabic one influence, yeah. understand. But when you go to the cooking, cooking is much influenced by, by the Indians, Indian influence. Mm -hmm. So what we cook around here looks very similar to the Indians. Indians. Okay. Understand, yes, to the Indians. But remember that local yeah. majorities yeah. are farmers. So that most of us, we do live in the villages, farming. You see, we are farming different items, like cassava. Do you know cassava? Cassava. Yeah. Very good. We cassava. are farming the rice, yeah. and rice is our staple food. We are farming yams. You know yams? Very good. Corn. You can see. Very good. So that is activities which locals are doing. Are doing around around here driving in Zanzibar you must be very patient <laughs> otherwise you are in a big trouble yeah, yeah. Mm. so as you can see now yes yes yeah and we used to be having you no know, uh, chocolates so because of being patient we can make it possible otherwise it is it is it is it is difficult okay so the road which you take now, it goes straight to the north of the island. And remember that this island, which island, it is big from south to the north. It is about 160 kilometers. So this is the road straight to the north, to the northeast coast. Yes. 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 It is a flat island, flat, so that don't expect to see any mountain here throughout, understand, so that locals can be okay to use ride bicycles everywhere. Yes, and most of them, yes, down over there, what can be seen, top of the water in the mosque. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, but this area down here where the water is, when we got our independence, the first planet of Zanzibar, got an idea to build it a public swimming pool. Yeah. Understand? You can see it there, but now it's no longer news. That the mosque over there, yeah, so which is a Sunni mosque. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you can identify it by the colors, mm -hmm. or oh. because it don't have a very tall mineral, it looks like a temple. Mm. Next here to our right side over there, you're gonna see the big buildings. The first one, it is, it has got Buckley's Bank. The next one is Bank of Tanzania. Zanzibar branch. The trees can be seen at the left side, uh, left, yes. Those are mangroves. Okay, those okay. are mangroves. And then next over there, maybe possible, we can see there is a boating, a boat making the yard. The locals are making boats over there, can see, can be seen down over there. Some can to be seen left. to your left side down over there. You can see there. So yeah, that. See, see, see. So that when it is done, they wait for the sea to get high tide. Right. Then they push it to the sea to, to wherever he is considered. Okay, the next one there looks like we're gonna stand at the market, but yeah. not for food, for clothing, uh, shoes, and other items. Okay, can be seen straight down over there. And remember that Zanzibar markets are open seven days a week. Okay, from six to six. Because majority of don't have enough cash to buy like food for a month, for a week. We do buy every day, every time. Okay, yes. Sorry? Open Friday, yes. I'll ask what to you. Friday is like other days. Okay, except from 12 to 2, it's time to go to pray for those who like to do it. Otherwise, if you don't like to go there, nobody is forcing you to go there. Okay, that yes, the market is not over there. Some more items can be seen around here. A lot of window shops can be seen outside. 
Geuzia mfuko mlangoni ile ya kuona. Amna. Okay, after the big house now, the big buildings, you go through the small, small ones here, can be seen outside. And this area is known as, as Saten. Okay. There is the primary school here. Remember that the, our education system is very similar to the British education system. Because the British are the ones who came to set it up. So, so that we start with the nursery school, then the primary. For primary, we go for six years, from standard one to six. Then after six, we go to secondary schools. For four years. Then after four years, we go to high school for two years. Then after high school, two years, we go to universities. Is it free? So that from nursery to primary to secondary school, it is free of charge. We don't pay for it. But for high level, advanced level, Two years, you have to pay. Then that depends on how you did in your final exams. For those who did the best, are like getting loans from the government to continue with their studies. And that alone, when you finish, you pay it. Yes, poly poly, slowly slowly. Understand? Until you finish it. So that's it. That's why we are with three universities. Not enough for some times, so that if you don't get a chance here. You are afraid to go to the mainland, yes, to Dar es Salaam, to Arusha, to whatever, like that. Look at outside, down over there, you can see the big trees. Look at over there, you can see them, big, big, big ones. They are mango trees. What? Mango? Mango, mango trees. Mango trees. Maybe your first time to see big trees, like yeah. those ones. So when, in the season, maybe somebody can ask me, how do you go there to pick them up? We do send the boys. Okay, who can go through the branches, okay? And pick them up. Again, over there, on the right side, those big trees here are, uh, are mango trees. Yes. We are with a lot of coconut trees. Coconut palm trees. And coconut is not for export. It is for local consumption. Rice is a type of food, so that we need enough coconut milk for flavoring. Uh, rice. Rice yes, we bought some because what you grow around here not enough. You have to get much more from outside, like from India, Basmat. Okay, from Thailand, from China, from Vietnam, from Myanmar. From Myanmar? Yeah. Very good. So we bought much more from outside. So, so why can't we just import uh, from other African nations? Right. Sorry? Why can't we import some of these things from other African nations? Example. Like if Nigeria is doing a whole lot of uh, rice farming. Uh, yes, you know what's going on? What's happening is those business people, they do go to the markets where the products are cheap. So maybe you make it, you produce it in, 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 in Nigeria, but it may be expensive, expensive maybe. Yes, or well, yes, so it depends on how to make it happen until you make it. Yeah, yeah the, far, the foreigners are always going to find a way to. Uh, make it seem like uh, we, we need them more than we need each other. But uh, I, I do understand uh, that you know, based on colonization, mm. they have the, the system set up. But we now have to work on how we can do interna international trade. I'm from Jamaica, and, you know, and that's another connection we have to make. You know, we have a whole lot of black uh, countries along. Countries, yes, I agree and to you. We can you know, do more import export with I, each other. I agree to you. And, and that's what they, Marcus Garvey and other great minds were, were envisioning. And, Okay, and for that by now, we are now changing the system of farming, right, which means very soon we are going to stop importing <laughs> rice from outside. Excellent. Understand? We are with very good place to grow it. That's right. But uh, the past governments didn't, didn't take care about it, no. and we believe it is a kind of business sharing. You understand? Sometimes you can make something to get difficult in order for you to make a profit. You understand? Don't grow it, let them make it from outside because you are getting 10%. You understand? But we are with a new president who is very good. Similar to the one on the mainland. So we are getting big changes. You understand? People are getting fired now. There is no 
uh, waiting to say let us wait what happened no if if you make it yes go now and you don't care who is you just like the past one so we are uh, hoping to get big changes very soon very soon so very soon we're going to be having enough price around here excellent good